couple of meows. I'm not sure where, where they were coming from. Uh, there, might, there might be a cat here. I don't know. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Lynn was just pointing out that if there were a cat here, she'd be allergic to it. So <laughs> it's just as well. Now this next song uh, was really written for for Mabel Mercer uh, by Alec Wilder. Here's Mabel again. Now when Mabel sang, she really presided over the audience. She sat in a chair, and I've seen pictures of that chair. It really looks like a throne. And everyone was up in front of her, and they were enthralled. Uh, this was really one of the numbers that she was most identified with. And one of the reasons that I was drawn to it tonight is that it really has to do with the working of memory and how the bitter and the sweet uh, mix together in, in our minds as we pass from youth into age. Oh, one more thing. <laughs> A <laughs> uh, little geographical note for uh, some of the geographically nerdy types in the audience. The song will refer to a town called Sneedens. It's Sneedens on the Hudson. It's not Sneeze on the Hudson. It's Sneedens <laughs> on the Hudson. <laughs> and that town, is, is, that town is now known as Palisades, New York. And, and it's uh, the home of the rich and famous. And at one time or another, such people who have lived there include Angelina Jolie and Bjork. Now, isn't that exciting? <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to know more of the people who have lived there, just go right to Wikipedia, and I'll tell you. <laughs> Thank you. 